What is going on? What is going on? Tony here from Learn Auto Body and Paint.com. Sorry for this head cam view. Uh, it was supposed to be set on super wide, but it wasn't, so some of the bottom part of the video is cut off. Uh, but here we are using the DBC 500, which is a clear base coat. Okay, we're going to be using that as a mid coat, all right, to put our X finishes moon dust white pearl in to go over our white base coat. So we're turning our white base coat into a pearl by adding a mid coat. Now you can eliminate this step if you are experienced. You could just basically mix in your pearl or flake into the clear coat. You could just use a clear coat, but the problem with that is, is if you run it, you're going to have a flake run or a pearl run, which is going to be very hard to fix. You got to let it dry and just reshoot it, you know, sand it out and reshoot it. Because once you run that pearl or flake, you can't really take it out. You can't buff it out. You can't sand it out. It's just going to be there. You're going to see it. So you're going to have to wait till that panel dries, sand it down, reshoot base on it, and redo it again. That's the only downfall of going with a clear coat, um, you know, and mixing your pearl or flake in it. So. For a lot of newbies, this is a great way to do it because you can lay your base coat on, right? This is a clear base coat, your mid coat, and not have to worry about running it because you could spray a few light coats to get your achieved pearl effect. You get what I'm saying? So that's, that's why I made this video. So we're using the Atom X20 high volume low pressure spray gun. I'm just coating our white based mirrors here with some pearl very very quickly we're going to give everything two coats of pearl here uh, including the the top portion of the cab um, and then we're going to spray our silver base coat on the bottom portion of the car truck and um, mask everything up for our centerpiece that's going to be like a teal color all right and then we're going to finish it off and then clear coat everything with our atom x21 spray gun so just giving you some tips, hope you enjoyed this video. Keep watching here. Uh, the top section of our bed here is also going to be white. So I'm just hitting this with some quick pearl effect, right? Like I said, this is our second pearl coat on the outside using the DBC 500 clear base coat with X finishes moon dust pearl on it. Um, after this, uh, we're going to be masking it off. Oh, actually, we're going to spray the silver quickly on the bottom because this is going to be a tritone paint job. Um, we are not painting, you know, below the door. You could see that we're only doing like the top one third of the door. Um, the middle part is going to be like a teal and then the bottom is going to be silver. So you're going to see me dust some silver base uh, around the bottom. And another good tip is to always check your paint. You can see that I quickly checked my paint here. You don't want to be painting a full panel and run out right, you know, in the middle of doing a hood or something like that. You know, it's it's not going to hurt your paint job, but it would be better if you don't run out run out while you're spraying a large panel.
And another thing to remember, you probably already know by now after going through all the trainings in the course, is you can always tack base coat, right? After the base coat dries, you can feel free to tack as much as you want, but you never wanna tack clear coat in between clear coats. So because this is still a base coat stage, right? Um, I don't think I showed you on video, but I actually tacked the lower section of the truck before I sprayed this base coat. All right, so we're mixing a one-to-one -one ratio. I'm using an Omni base. I think I paid about 30 bucks for this quart of base, which is not bad, 30 to 40 bucks. Omni is a good brand. You know, it's a cheaper brand of PPG, great brand, great base coats. Uh, I highly recommend them if you're looking for affordable paints. Um, Nason is also good if you're if you want to work with the DuPont. Uh, Nason is a cheaper version of the of DuPonts. So we're mixing our base here. We're going to spray the lower third of the truck, uh, and then we're going to wait for that to dry. Then mask off for our center piece. All right. And another thing is um, most base coats are a one to one mixture. Uh, keep that in mind. Um, and I also go by consistency. So I like to count the drips and, and see the consistency of the paint while I'm mixing. So I had to add just a pinch of bitter reducer here uh, to get the consistency that I want. But if you don't know how to go by consistency and drops and just by looking at the paint like this, uh, normally it's one to one and maybe you're going to want to add 5% you know, 8% extra reducer during some times, especially if you want to stretch the base, you're running out um, and you want to just, you just need a little extra base to spray with, you could reduce it down 10% extra, no problem. Now what I'm doing here is narrowing my fan down just a little, as you can see, a little bit more narrow, about a four to five inch fan pattern I want because a lot of this, the pieces that I'm going to be painting on the truck here are smaller pieces. So I want to concentrate my paint so I don't waste a lot of paint on a big uh, fan pattern. You know what I mean? So I'm just concentrating on below the line here is going to be silver. So it's just that you'll, you'll see exactly when I start masking it up, but it's just a little... the the lower portion of the truck, the side, the small, you know, two and a half, three inch piece of the bed there, that's all going to be silver. So I don't need a huge 10 to 12 inch fan pattern to spray that. So I narrowed it down to about five inches. And one, when you narrow a fan down, right, your pressure is going to be streamlined to that fan pattern. So you're going to have to lower your air pressure, right? So you may want to go from 26 to 24 PSI if you're you're gonna narrow your fan pattern down to three to five inches you know what I mean if you make it uh, if you're making your fan pattern to a point you're gonna see how much pressure it's gonna come out at because you're just condensing that that 12 inch fan pattern into a two inch fan pattern which shoots out the air at, a, at more of a pressure so you're gonna always want to lower your pressure down when you're narrowing your fan pattern that's why you see me testing all the time with my hand I always test out and feel the air pressure coming out by hand that's one way that I test without looking at the gauge um, you could test by feel of air pressure on your hand and also by the tone of the air pressure coming out you could just hear it and know what the exact pressure is you know what I mean once you start painting and you realize some of you may know already what I'm talking about um, but if you're a total newbie, you may not understand, but you will. As the, more, the more you paint, the more you will actually be able to adjust by feel and by, um, by tone. You don't need the gauge. You just go by feel and by tone and know that that's the correct air pressure to spray at, which is really cool. It comes in handy. I've actually been using this method for, you know, 15 years, by now, over 15 years now. You know, so I really don't need to look at the gauge at this point. Uh, just giving that information out, you know, maybe you can relate, maybe not, but sooner or later you will. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little segment here to learn more about Learn Auto Body and Paint DIY. Uh, check out learnautobodyandpaint.com, grab a free 85-page auto body manual, some video trainings, and if you want to dig deep, you want to learn more, check out Learn Auto Body VIP. Talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye.